everyone, welcome to Hedgehog Hollow. We're excited today to be back with the Academy of Scrapbooking and Art. And the theme this month was kind of the beach, underwater, sea, all of those fun things. So it works really well with our June Hedgehog Hollow box. So I've grabbed all of my supplies and I'm gonna show you how to create a quick and easy card using patterned paper and how you can take patterned papers and change them up quickly, easily, and in maybe some ways you hadn't thought of before. So let's grab out some supplies. Now in our box this month, we'd included this sheet of mylar. Isn't this cool? You get this kind of really cool reflection in it, but it just adds a little bit of shimmer and you can include it with patterned papers. We also gave um, our regular subscribers these inside sentiments. So I'm gonna be using those and then um, I'm not sure what other sentiments I'm going to be using, so I'll keep my stamp sets close to hand. Plus we included this paper pack, which has 24 sheets, 12 different designs, and they're a really nice thickness too. They're like a semi-thin, thickish, thin cardstock in here. And I think I'm going to use one of the darker designs, but there was all sorts in here, and you really could kind of use any of them. But I like these darker ones, and that's what I'm going to use on my card. And then I also included some cardstock, which we do every month. And I'm gonna use one of these fun colors. So I'm gonna grab these out. I'm not sure which yet, but it's those. And I'm gonna use one of the card bases. And we include uh, Nina Solo White 110 pound card bases. Plus we included the Athenian Blue Nouveau Glitter Marker. I'm gonna show you a fun technique with that as well. So lots of fun techniques that you can use in all of your card making. I'm gonna score this up ready to go. I'm using my Precision Glide Bone Folder in here. And if you're a Hedgehog Hollow Perks member, you can get 10% off all of your Tonic Studios purchases worldwide, whether that's UK, US, or anywhere else in the globe. And I, for a long time, said, oh, you don't need a Teflon Bone Folder. Um, but honestly, it makes such a difference. And Greg was telling me the other day the engineering reasons why, but there are apparently reasons why, but it does make a difference. You get a really nice crisp fold. And this is a really heavyweight card base. So if our card base ready to go, I'm not sure what color I'm gonna use in colored cardstock, but we're gonna start doing some trimming. And the reason I'm gonna use this is when you put it over your cardstock, it just adds a little bit of extra shimmer. It just adds that little bit of something extra. So you can just use your patterned paper, but at the same time, you know, it just kind of adds that something, you know, special to your card. So what shall we use? We could use our big jellyfish, our small jellyfish, or our seaweed. I think I'm gonna go with my small jellyfish for this card. And I'm gonna use my Tim Holtz trimmer, which is my favorite one. And I'm gonna trim this down. We also need to decide what pattern of paper we want to use. So we could use our dots, our blue, which matches really nicely. Or I may stick with this. So this one um, is the Basil Bling, so it has a little bit of shimmer to it as well. And I'm again, I'm gonna trim this down. So I'm gonna trim my first layer down to four by five and a quarter, like so. And then this one, I'm gonna trim down to three and three quarters by five inches. And the mylar, I'm gonna do the same. So this is going to be three and three quarters. And you can see that the Tim Holtz platform does not have any issues trimming this down by five inches just cuts through like butter. So this is all gonna layer up perfectly. Just like this. And that's gonna fit on my card base. And we're gonna need a sentiment for the outside. So let's grab our two stamp sets here that have sentiments on. We've got lots of ideas. I'm going to go for Let's have a look. 
And so I think I'm going to go with Brave and Free and Wild as the C. And you may notice I make a lot of birthday cards here on the channel because we have a perks program where you can save lots of money on your crafty purchases, you can get early access to some of our content, um, lots of things. And I send all of our perks members birthday cards. And so I need to make a lot of birthday cards. If you're not a perks member, you can find out more in the description below or you can um, check out the top right hand corner as well on how to become a perks member. And this could be your birthday card. So I'm just using some Gina K Amalgam ink to stamp out my sentiment. Do that one again. I think this needs a re-ink because I use this ink a lot. You can also stamp out using um, the Nouveau glitter markers. These make a really nice ink. Um, you more wouldn't want to use it on sentiments because they're quite a thick ink. But if you're stamping something like the fish or the waves that come in this set, they make a really nice ink to work with. It's really great to try out. They also make a great um, liquid watercolor. They're great as a general marker. They work on dark cardstocks, light cardstocks. They're really, really versatile. We have lots of um, videos on them as well. You can check that out again in the top right hand corner. Really fun to work with and you get one of those in the kit as well. And we'll link that in the video description for you too. Oh, and I was gonna stamp on the inside of my card with our inside verses. So I'm gonna open up my card like this. And I think that's gonna be my front. That's my front. Then that's gonna be my inside. So if I ever get a smudge on something, that's gonna be the front because that's what I'm gonna cover up. And I'm gonna use the inside verses. Let's see. It's not only about what's on the outside that counts, it's what's on the inside too. So that's what I'm gonna use here. Now I could use my misty corners to help me line it up, but I'm gonna eyeball this one. And that does look pretty straight by, by my misty grid lines. They're always a good one to go with too. Again, stamp it out. I'm gonna firm it up because I do need to re-ink this ink pad and I will get round to it eventually. But on the meantime, I'll just stamp things a couple of times as needed. Okay, so I'll leave that open to dry and we'll pop that over there. So let's start making up our card. So the first thing I want to do is trim up my sentiment. And I like this trimmer because it allows me to get nice straight sentiments. Just like this. Really simple. I can line it up on those plastic grid lines and have a nice straight even sentiment. For me this works really well. And I can cut small pieces so again perfect. Just like that. Okay, so I'm going to use just my regular Nouveau tape runner to glue this down. And as always, line up three like this, and the fourth kind of takes care of itself. Now with the mylar it's a little bit harder because of course you're more likely to see the glue. Now I like a particular vellum adhesive, it's called W+, I'll link it in the description for you. You're always going to see a little bit of the adhesive so be, you know, light touch on it and everything. But this is one of the best adhesives for using vellum, mylar, all of those kinds of things. For me it's the one that I see the least, particularly on vellum which is what it's designed for. I feel I really can't see it once it's down. Now I've put this on here and I think you really would struggle to find the adhesive if you didn't know where I'd stuck that. So once I've got it down, I mean you know it's in the corners but I think you're really going to struggle to see it and it's pretty strong. You know, that's holding that in there really nicely. Now we're going to add this onto the outside of our card. So again, move our tape runner. And you of course could do this with any um, patterned paper. 
and you could add an iridescent vellum over the top if you haven't got the mylar, but it is just a basil mylar and it is included in our Hedgehog Hollow kit too. And our Perks members also get discounts on the Hedgehog Hollow kits. Now I'm just gonna grab my big roll of foam. I'm gonna see about using some of these. I don't know how long these have been sitting on here because I haven't been card making in the last week or so. We've been working on an extra special project. So I'm just going to put this down here. Now wasn't that quick, easy, but really pretty card, adds a little bit of sparkle and it just jazzes up your pattern paper. But again, it's a way to use up your pattern paper, which lots of you have always been asking me, how do I use up all of that pattern paper that I have in my stash? Well, here's a way to do it and to add a little bit of extra jazz to those cards. So thank you so much for joining me here at the Academy and of course on the Hedgehog Hollow channel. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button and ring the bell. Check out the links in the video description below as well. Hit that join button to be part of our community and this could be your birthday card too and I will see you again tomorrow with another tip trick tutorial maybe something else don't forget to give us a thumbs up for today's video if you enjoyed it and in the meantime happy crafting and have a great day I'll see you again soon bye